there were Barrow's works. I mean, um, Collins was responsible also for the publication of Barrow's works. There were Newton's Lucasian lectures on optics. There was the De Analisi and perhaps even the De Methodis. And there was King Coisen algebra. And uh, Collins and Newton clearly are considering several combinations of all these works. And uh, um, Newton uh, was, uh, you know, discussing with Collins several solutions and uh, perhaps publishing his optical lectures and the De Analisi or publishing the De Analisi with King Coisen and so on and so forth. In the end, what Newton printed was with the philosophical transactions where he printed, of course, his paper on the reflecting telescope and his paper on the new theory uh, of light. And, that's, uh, and that was, you know, the reflecting telescope was a success. The new theory of light was a bitter, very bitter experience for Newton. <laughs> And um, and uh, so this is how things occurred. But I would like to say that what happened between Collins and Newton is not necessary. I mean, um, Newton might have printed his method of fluxions. Uh, he, Collins was one inch far from realizing it from 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 doing this and uh, the reason why this didn't occur is i think one of those contingency of history uh, that we have to describe and accept um, in the same time i would like to say that uh, studying the correspondence reveals does reveal a growing anxiety on Newton's side about printing his mathematics. I don't mean that his philosophical agenda and that we uh, compelled him not to print. I don't mean that there is a causal, simple causal relationships between Newton's extra mathematical concerns and his publication practice, but uh, studying his publication strategy is uh, interesting nonetheless because it reveals something about Newton's mentality so to speak and uh, I think that one of the historians tasks perhaps an impossible task is to uh, understand not only what historical actors did but to probe also their intentions their you know their uh, agendas and and that's why I find this uh, topic so interesting, even though um, uh, one has to be careful to avoid a too simplistic uh, description of what happened uh, in between Collins, Barrow, Newton and Oldenburg in those days, those years actually, yes.